subscribe with notifications on. Yeah, guys, you know, we, 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 we got a shock. We got a shock. We came in. Um, you know, I remember we, uh, me and my family, we went to, uh, to, to Italy for a vacation. Um, this shop here, guys, this shop here was doing very well. This shop here is the Build It, Build It Plus. Um, it was a very, it's a very, very successful shop. So apparently, uh, we hear in the story that uh, I think there was a story that the shop got closed down. It's not like they it closed down because of the, the guys got uh, financial problems and so forth. No, uh, they closed down because of the uh, uh, the government. Uh, someone went to tell the government that they are not paying tax and stuff like that and all those type of things. I think this is that's just inside information, and the shop got closed, shut down. This guy has got two um, uh, shops. Uh, this one here uh, in Strand and the other one in Somerset West. So everything as you can see here, a lot of people here, they lost their jobs and so forth. I mean, such a wonderful place like this, re really. The government of South Africa is not really doing things right, really. I mean, they could have come, come into a, to an amicable solution to try to help the brother here, you know, at least continue running his job. Guys, how are you? Good and you. I'm alright, man. What happened? Why did they close down? We don't know. We only went to So I, I'm hearing the other guys saying saying um, uh, there was an, some issues with the government and stuff like that. Maybe talking about tax and maybe the guy was not paying tax and stuff like that. So that's why they closed them down. Do you know anything about it? Yo, bra, it's it's it's, it's terrible. Such a this guy was doing well, bro. This shop was doing very well, bro. Don't to lie. Imagine some they close your shop like this, bro. No, they're saying tax. The same tax. I know this guy has got another another shop there in Somerset West. Very big one, beautiful one, bro. They saying they shut them down. Even that one there in Somerset, they shut it down. Yo, I, I, a government of South Africa, really. So it is so bad, guys. It is so bad. You know, a lot of people actually lost their jobs. You know, they lost their jobs. And as you can see, um, they had some nice uh, branding and stuff like that. And as you can see here, it's Build It, Build It uh, Plus. You know, they had their own trading, trading hours and stuff like that. So this was a, such a wonderful shop, guys. You know, these were their time trading hours and all those type of things, you know, all these type of things and so forth. But you know, unfortunately, the shop got shut down. Uh, the government shut, shut it down. You know, South Africa, I don't know, you know, why are we living like this? Such a big, 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 big building. You know, you can look at this uh, the way it is, you know. Unfortunately, guys, I have to show you because obviously uh, I was not aware. Uh, we left um, South Africa uh, we left Cape Town on the uh, 27th of May um, uh, last year. No, this year. Actually, you know, went to for a vacation, uh, for a cruise ship vacation in Europe. Um, uh, we're not away, you know, because I remember the, the last time I bought some uh, materials um, on this shop was I bought some things for, to, for fixing my house. This, this guy was so successful, guys. Yo was so successful hopefully i'm i'm sure maybe they even took the, his cars he had such a wonderful cars this guy maybe the government took his cars yo this guy had nice cars nice cars hey, but you know our south african government why why can't you just maybe at least try to you know have an amicable solu solutions you know talk to talk to the business you know talk to them you know let them pay bit by bit and like to shut them down you know it's like destroying the economy you understand there are so many people that way this was uh, the collection stuff uh, uh, building where they're storing their things this shop here and that shop there right uh, it's the one thing it's actually this is the storage where they have their old materials and stuff like this um it's a building it's a build it it's build it 
uh, uh, warehouse where they, they they get their things and so forth. Hey guys, living in South Africa is tough. I don't want to lie, it's tough. You know, even if the guy wasn't paying tax, but you talk to some, you talk to them, you know, have a solution, come up with an amicable solution, you know, try to talk to them, let them continue running their business. What about people that were working here? What about people that were working here? We've got a lot of people that were actually working here, they lost their jobs. Imagine, yo, such a trauma, guys. This is, this is so sad, very sad. And the guys here, you know, the guys here, um, they used to be helped by this um, uh, place. Understand? So sad. Yo. Hi. How are you done with? It's very sad. Did you guys get it? Do you have time? Uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, I'm going to be to the way by this. Oh, oh, okay. Who's connected already? Oh, okay. They haven't opened it yet. Yeah. Maybe can you connect them on your phone so they can just search it once it opens? No, you can just give them the link. Give them the, the on, on, on your WhatsApp. Open your WhatsApp, my brother. Okay. Yeah, just type dupes first time. Send it, send it yourself. When so you get you home, yeah. Get mm. When you get home, you can do that. Um, you can do that. All right, so you're not, you're not doing interview. Yo, babe, I'm so disturbed about what happened here. Okay, no, it's fine. Let's, let's go.